So this is what I'm working on right now. It's a 2005 Chevy Tahoe. And you can see the instrument panel. And the one we're focusing on right now is the oil pressure. Turn the ignition on without even starting it. And the oil pressure maxes out to 80 PSI, uh, which is the limit. So that tells me that it's probably not anything wrong uh, with the actual oil pressure. It's something either wrong with the gauge or the oil sending unit, uh, which is a little, uh, little part inside. Looks like a little oil filter and it has a pressure switch in it and that detects the pressure of your oil. Now, uh, when these gauges max out, it's like 99% times I've seen it's an oil sending unit. So that's what we're going to try first uh, and see if we can replace that. And the oil sending unit is located right behind the block. And I won't be able to show it here. But here's the motor, the block, whatever you want to call it. And right behind the block oil sending unit should be attached to uh, probably that wiring harness way down there so the only problem is you have to lay over the entire engine to get back there unless you have a little ladder or something but the oil sending unit is hidden back there and I'm gonna remove it and replace it so uh, for each year there's like a different oil sending unit uh, Chevy's used to have one style for everything a GM but um now I've seen there's at least six different oil sending units, so I'm going to pull it first and make sure I get the right part at AutoZone or Craigans. Wish me luck. I wish I had a better angle of this. I've got a half inch drive socket down there, so I have to use a half inch drive ratchet. i got several different extensions, but I'm thinking the shortest extension is probably going to work the best. So, I'll do first try to stab this into the socket that's already on the sensor. Okay, that's in. I can see that it probably should have been a little bit longer. Probably should use a longer, longer socket. A longer extension, but this could work. Looks like it just broke loose. Very easy. So that means it's not super duper tight. And now I can get my camera up here and show you what's going on. So I got a half inch drive ratchet. And right there you can see the socket. That shiny part even though it's not zooming in. That little bit of shine. That is where the socket fits on top of the oil sending unit and there's the oil sending unit there 27 millimeter half inch drive socket and now it actually feels so loose i'm sure i can do it with my hand but as long as you can hear those clicks i'm still going to use the ratchet That's extremely loose. So now shove our hand back here and find it. 
touching the very top. And I'm spinning it with my hand. You kind of barely grab this with your fingertips, so. You definitely don't want to put it in wrong. You're gonna have some major issues. And there you go, oil sending in it, 2005. Uh, Chevy Tahoe. You can see the two crush rings and the thread locker and that's how the plug should be. Alright, so I went to the store. I went to Craigans and here is the new oil sending plug here. Oil sending switch. Part number is 2-80014. This is by Master Pro. They had a more expensive one, uh, but this one here was like five bucks cheaper. So I paid $41.99 for the switch. Now the switch's plug look like that inside. I'm getting no light here. So that's what the switch's plug looked like and mine looked like that. So I was trying to figure out what was going on and turns out you have to pull out the little rubber rubber band in there. It's really easy, it comes right out. And there's also a gray part in there that needs to come out. So on your old switch, you're going to have to pull that little gray grommet out and put it down the right direction. There's only one way it goes in. And then you also have to pull out this rubber piece that goes in. So the gray piece will drop in first, and then the rubber snubber will go on, on top of that. So these are little parts you need from your old ones. Don't throw your old one out because you're going to still need those parts. And even though it's brass and not aluminum, whatever the heck that is, um, it's a slight bit taller, but that shouldn't make any problems whatsoever. The main thing you're looking for is the crush ring washers right here and the plug. Now, it'd be better if it had some uh, anti-seize or whatever this uh, silicone stuff is. Some kind of glue to hold it in, but I'm pretty sure these are tapered, so they don't need anything. I'm going to add a little tiny bit, um, just because I'm anal like that, and I want to make sure that there is no leaks, because there is pressure going to that switch, oil pressure, and I'd hate to have it leak. So I'm going to put a little bit of my own sealant, but just a little tiny, tiny bit works. And I'm going to go ahead and install this. Okay, I changed it out, and now I'm trying to plug it in. And the part I purchased was slightly larger, slightly taller than the original. And so seeing that it is slightly taller than the original, you can see it right there, it's yellow. So, let me back out. There is where the oil pressure sending unit is. The very back of the engine. The yellow plug right there. So now, all I have to do is find the electronic plug, which is right there, and plug it back into that yellow plug, and I'll be done it's with the project. Done. Plug back in. Now I just gotta put the top back in. If you look at the top, there's two little tabs right there. And those little two tabs go right into those two rubber grommets. And then you have a hole right here. And that hole takes that bolt. So, it's kind of going to go down like this at an angle. So I'm going to line up these two tabs if I can. Those drop right in place. And now this bolt here can be difficult. Uh, it can be difficult because it doesn't, you know, necessarily line up. And so, I'm going to screw it in a little tiny bit by hand. I'm going to lift on it. If it lifts, and it probably will, yeah, then it's not in. So, I'm just going to look at the bottom here. And try to get that in that hole. And once I do, I'll tighten it up. And the socket I used on this to remove it was a 5 16 inch socket 
on a quarter inch ratchet. All right, let's see what happens. I'm gonna tighten this up and we should be done. It's really warm in here. Anyway, that gauge was maxing out to 80 pounds. And I got my fingers crossed, not literally, but imagine figuratively. And let's see if it goes up to 80. It didn't jump to 80, so that's a great sign. Let's start the vehicle and see what happens. Yeah! Our fix worked. And the oil pressure goes up. See, that's perfect. So anyway, that's how you fix uh, your oil pressure gauge, uh, which isn't your gauge at all. It's actually the oil sending unit or the oil pressure switch, depending on what it's called, uh, for most Chevy trucks. It's located in the back of the block, and this was a success.